Okay, so now what we're going to look at is uh, salt hydrolysis. So on your nose, it will be on page 9. So what is actually salt hydrolysis? Salt is your salt lah. Okay, hydrolysis. Hydro, it means water. Lysis ni maksudnya it's dissolved. So when salt, so maknanya kita akan tengok the reaction when it, when the salt is actually dissolved in water. So later on, we're going to look at what is the characteristic of your salt, whether it's neutral acid or base okay but then the kata dekat sini a salt is an ionic compound that is formed by the reaction of an acid with a base which is your neutralization reaction and the kata dekat sini the positive ion of the salt is from the base and its negative ion is from the acid so what does it mean here okay so i'm just gonna write down okay so color acid hx acid it consists of h plus and then x minus so, kalau MOH ni, dia akan jadi M plus dengan OH minus. Okay, so actually charge dia sama sahaja kan. So, that's why lah bila kita gabungkan dia, it's no, it has no charge. So, salt kita ni from M plus dengan X minus kita lah. So, itulah maksud dia bila dia kata positive ion, yep. positive ion is from the base. So, sebab positif ion, so as you can see, positif ion, base kan? So, yang yang ini, positif adalah from your base. Okay, and then the negative ion is from your acid. Alamak, dia macam jadi panjang sangat. So, you get the idea lah. Okay, and then kita akan form sebab bila M dengan X ni dah gabung, eh, M dengan X ni akan form salt. Yang your OH ni dengan H plus akan gabung to form your water. Okay, so this is, uh, yang gini kita belajarlah neutralization, which we're going to learn into detail. Kita akan tengok nanti lagi 7.2. But right now, we're going to look at what is the reaction of your salt when it is dissolved in water. So, then they relate sikit dengan your characteristic of acid and base, whether it's strong ataupun weak. Okay, so first, um, apa ni? First example we're going to look at is neutral salt. So, neutral salt is actually a reaction between your strong acid and strong base. Okay. So, senang kalau mis nak tengok. Okay. So, for example, we have sodium hydroxide dengan HCl akan form salt and water. Okay. So, what mis dah tahu, OH dengan H ni akan gabung to form water. So, what I have left is Na dengan Cl ni akan form our um, salt. So, here I'm just going to write down Na. Cl equals plus H2O liquid. And then we're going to look at the salt dissociation equation. So, maknanya salt ni kita barulah kita akan tunjuk the reaction with water. Okay, so kalau NaCl sebenarnya it's from, uh, it will dissociate to form Na plus equals dengan Cl minus equals. Okay, so first I'm going to write down Bila Na plus equals react dengan water. Okay, so what we have is actually no reaction. Okay, why? Why it has no reaction? Okay, so I'm just going to add. No, kalau ni lah. Tapi kita buat kecil sikit. Okay, so kalau sodium. Oops. Sodium is 11 kan? So, dia adalah 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S1. Okay, tapi kalau sodium plus, okay, so maknanya dia sudah donate one of the electrons. So, 1S2, 2S2, 2P6. And as we can see, bila dia adalah, so bila dia uh, Na plus, it means that it's already achieved the new octet. Ataupun usually we call it as your stable ion. Sebab dia tak akan react dah lah, dia sudah capai octet. Sebab itulah kalau reaction of metal, kalau metal dengan water, kita akan nampak ada reaction. Tapi kalau Na+, plus, there is no reaction with water because it's already a stable ion. How do you know it's stable or not? Okay, whether it, it already achieved octet ke? Belum. Okay. So, yang ni yang misal padam lah. I'm just gonna let it be there. Okay. That is only for our so the, uh, Na. How about our Cl-? minus? Okay, so my equation would be Cl- minus equals plus dengan H2O liquid akan jadi... Uh, no reaction juga. So, dalam kes ni, sebab kalau sodium is 17. Ayam. Okay. 
17 chlorine. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. Betul tak 17? Okay. But 17 chlorine minus. So my already achieved uh, except one. So dia akan jadi 3s2, 3p6. So dia dah capai octet. Because 3s2, 3p6 achieved octet. So it's a stable ion. So that's why it has no reaction. Okay, based on the equation here, our product here, there's no reaction. So, that's why dia kata, no production of extra H plus OOH minus ion. And the solution is, solution dia, sebab dia tak ada extra H plus, so that's why kita uh, tepuk OH minus. So, the solution is neutral. Okay, let's look at the reaction uh, that will form your acidic salt. So, for the acidic salt, it's actually from the reaction between your, oops, between your strong acid. Okay, tapi dia bukan lagi dengan strong base because if strong acid dengan strong base akan form neutral salt. Tapi kalau strong acid, kalau acidic salt, is actually between strong acid and a weak base. So, the reaction between your HCl dengan ammonia ni is not your usual Neutralization reaction per se is actually a synthesis reaction. Okay, so how are we going to form your acidic salt? So this is the example lah. So this reaction will uh, will combine to form a new species. Kita akan dia jadinya NH4Cl aqueous. Okay, so from this, kita akan reactkan this ion with water. Okay, so I'm just going to dissociate NH4Cl ni. Equals ni akan jadi NH4 plus Equals Plus dengan Cl minus Equals Okay so sekarang ni I will react this ion And your apa ni your cat ion And your N ion with water Okay so NH4 plus Equals Plus dengan Dengan H2O liquid so, what you have here is actually NH4 is your acid. So, when it is your acid, NH4 ni, NH4 plus is your acid. So, acid dia akan donate H plus. So, what we have here is our product will be NH3. Sebab dia sudah donate one of the H plus plus dengan. So, H2O ni is your base. Base ni akan accept H+. So, apa yang akan jadi? Plus dengan H3O plus equals. So, this is the reaction for your NH4 plus dengan water. Okay, so next one kita akan tengok for Cl minus. So, for the Cl minus. Cl minus equals. React with water. Liquid akan form. Okay, so there's actually no reaction. Okay, why no reaction? Sebab again, this is your stable ion. Okay, you can refer your notes for the yang apa ni? What do you call that? Neutral salt. So, stable ion, there's no reaction. Okay, so the salt dissociation equation. Okay, so dekat sini. So, production of. Okay, so boleh kita tengok. Okay, we're going to look at the product here. So, nampak adanya H3O plus di sini. So, kita tulis. So, what we're gonna write down is that the production of H3O plus causes the solution to be acidic. So, we have our extra H3O plus. Tadi from our neutral ni tidak ada apa-apa kan? No reaction, no reaction kan? Okay. And then, the reaction is also known as selain uh, it will form your acidic high acidic salt. This reaction is also known as cationic hydrolysis. Okay, so kenapa cationic? So sebab kita dapat kita akan form our cation lah. Ataupun sebenarnya pun sama juga kita when we react with our cation with water we will form another product so another name for this is cationic hydrolysis so that is your uh, the apa ni example for your acidic salt okay so let's look at the last part for your um salt hydrolysis 
we're gonna look at your basic salt so color basic salt ni is between your strong base and your weak acid okay so this is a neutralization where apa ni okay so a neutralization reaction between acid and base will form salt dengan water okay so we know from OH, OH ni akan gabung dengan your H here to form water so apa yang tinggal tinggal Na ni dengan CH3COO akan react to form your salt so I'm just gonna write down the equation dia so we'll form CH3COO minus Na plus eh mana ada sebab bila dah gabung mana ada charge ok equals plus H2O liquid ok so um, that is actually the reaction the neutralization reaction Tapi kalau salt dissociation reaction, kita kena tengok spesifik pada salt kamu lagi. Okay, so CH3COONA. Sebenarnya kita boleh dissociate jadi CH3COO minus N equals plus dengan NA plus equals. Okay, so right now each of the apa ni? The anion, cation, misalkan di, uh, apa ni, reactkan dengan water. So, I have my CH3, CH3COO minus equals, which is, right now it's a base, plus dengan H2O liquid. So, CH3COO minus is actually a base, kalau base ni. So, kalau it's a base, so maksud dia dah akan accept hydrogen so maknanya H2O ni kali ni akan jadi acid which will donate H plus ok so bila CH3COO minus ni dah accept so dia akan jadi CH3COOH equals so H2O dah donate dia tinggal jadi OH minus equals ok so that is the reaction for your CH3COO minus sekarang ni macam mana pula dengan Na plus so, Na plus equals plus H2O, kamu akan dapat no reaction. So, when it's actually a no reaction, why is it no reaction? Sebab ini adalah your stable ion. Okay, so kita tengok lagi dia punya ayat apa lagi. So, the production of what causes the solution to be? Okay, so when we look at the reaction of your ion tu, kita tengok dekat sini, this is our product. So, dalam case ni, we have OH minus. So, the production of OH minus ion causes the solution to be basic. And then, the reaction is also known as, sebab ini adalah bila reaction of your, ni nama dia anion. Nope. <laughs> anion ni, uh, yang akan react dengan water. So, that's why it is also known as an ionic hydrolysis. An ionic hydrolysis. So, that is for your salt hydrolysis.